Welcome to my channel Amateur Radio Universe. Today I'm going to talk about a commonly used circuit in amateur radio known as the Colpitts oscillator. An oscillator is an electronic circuit that produces periodic oscillations such as the sine wave, square wave, sawtooth wave or other types of waves when a voltage is applied. There are two types of oscillators and those are linear oscillators and nonlinear oscillators. Linear oscillators produce sinusoidal waveforms whereas nonlinear oscillators produce non-sinusoidal waveforms. Colpitt's oscillator is a linear oscillator and it generates radio frequency signals in the range of 20 kHz to 300 MHz. The Colpitt's oscillator was invented in 1918 by an American engineer called Edwin H. Colpitt's. Colpitt's oscillator consists of an amplifier and a positive feedback circuit for its functioning. The amplifier uses an active device such as a bipolar transistor, field effect transistor or vacuum tube as an amplifier and uses a positive feedback from its output connected to the input by means of a parallel LC tuned circuit or tank circuit which determines the frequency of oscillation. Working of Colpitt's oscillator In an oscillator, the amplification of the active device should be larger than the losses due to the attenuation at the capacity voltage divider network for the oscillator to work constantly. In an oscillator, the thermal noise in the amplifier gets amplified, which contains a number of different frequency components. The positive feedback circuit or the LC tank circuit selects a particular frequency from this range of frequencies and feeds it back to the input of the amplifier. In a Colpitt's oscillator, the LC circuit consists of a series combination of two capacitors in parallel with the inductor. The frequency of the oscillator is approximately the resonant frequency of this LC tank circuit. Frequency of the Colpitt's oscillator The frequency of the Colpitt's oscillator is determined by the formula F equal to 1 by 2 pi the root of LC where C equal to C1 C2 by C1 plus C2. In this oscillator the frequency can be changed by varying the inductance using a variable inductor or by means of adding a variable capacitor connected parallel to the inductor. Voltage gain of the amplifier is denoted as A, the portion of the output signal of the amplifier that is fed back to the input of the amplifier is called as the feedback factor which is denoted as beta. The total loop gain calculated as the product of A and beta is called as the A beta. The feedback circuit provides 180 degrees phase shift and the amplifier provides another 180 degrees of phase shift. So there will be either a 0 degree or 360 degrees of phase shift happening in the signal during this process. The oscillator works only when the A beta becomes equal to 1 and there is 0 degree or 360 degrees phase shift in the signal. This is called as the Barkhausen criteria. Barkhausen criteria is satisfied by the formula A beta equal to 1, beta equal to C1 by C2, A is greater than C2 by C1. Applications of Colpitt's Oscillator 1. It is used as an oscillator in radio receivers 2. It is used as a beat frequency oscillator in single sideband receivers 3. It is used as a local oscillator in transceivers 4. It is used as a carrier oscillator in transmitters 5. It is used in signal generators 6. It is used in radio direction finders and sensors